Ooh la la. Rifles. Oh. Rifles are actually found really interesting doing this because I honestly learn a lot from doing this. It perfectly illustrates a lot of issues with the game. And I don't mean the game bad. I mean a lot of issues that people will perceive about the game. Two, it shows how unbalanced things really are. I've seen a lot of comments being, oh, it's really balanced. It's really not. Rifles are a perfect illustration of this. There are balanced things within the game. ARs, for example. Yeah, rifles, not so much. There is a mess among them. And another point is kind of what a lot of people have been saying but don't quite understand it there is a huge disconnect between what you can put on paper and what actually happens a lot of people don't think that we can calculate the difference we actually can some people would just go oh you just calculate dps no we can calculate a lot more and this perfectly shows this okay anyway this is a sheet that's been provided to me by Hutchler. I don't know if it's his. I don't think it is, but either way. This is actually what I intended to show in the first part of my SMG video, but the uh, file didn't save correctly and what you got was a completely incorrect image. But still, this is the base stats of all of the rifles in the game. Some of them are identical, just replicas. And the astute among you would have noticed Dr. Home. I have included Dr. Home in this with its stats as well as its attachments. However, I don't know if this is 100% accurate and the it, Dr. Home will be entering the game with these stats. So although I have added it in, please do take the statistics that I will be providing from here on in regarding Dr. Home with a massive pinch of salt because i don't know if these if the information that i have from varying spreadsheets and sources is 100 percent correct and that is how dr home is being implemented into the game at the end of this season then what i am saying here will hold true if it isn't then it's all bollocks now, rifles are actually considerably easier to calculate just because of the way they work. The only real problem was ravenous. Um, you can see there's random gaps in this. Uh, that's because I had to calculate merciless and then merciless with the explosion and then ravenous. Ravenous using the right primers and then ravenous using the left primers. I will be going over these a little bit more in detail as we progress but I'm not going to go too much into detail because let's face it all you guys really care about is what is top tier which is pretty damn simple. Now the talent I was using for the non-named and non-exotic rifles was rifleman, don't know why that word escaped me there. So I was using Rifleman to utilize on the talent side of things, simply just because I personally believe this is going to give you your highest DPS output. And for me personally, if you're not using Rifleman or Boomerang on your rifle, then I don't know what to tell you. That's just me though. I personally lean more towards Boomerang because I suck at aiming. Anyway, now, for me, the biggest surprise throughout all of this, and this is quite reminiscent of just the simple fact that for me personally, I've been playing Division 2 since it came out. And since day one, I mean, originally it used to be the SVD. SVD was the be all end all. But when people discovered the M1A Classic, it was decided by someone. I'm pretty sure I know who this person is. Someone decided that the M1A Classic is the highest DPS in the game. Now, if you just follow basic formulas of your RPM divided by 60 times the damage, 
that will give you a rough indicator of your overall DPS. And if you just do this from base, and as I've shown that the overall standings don't really change too much, at least until you add accuracy into it, but when you do this, you do discover that the highest DPS rifle, the classic M1A apparently, is nowhere near the top. The M1A CQB is. So, without further ado, let's just have a look at the base stat sheets just to sort of see where we are standing. Not going to go into detail because this is largely immaterial, but M1A CQB, Soko M1A, USC.45, ACRSS, Lavoa C, Lightweight M4, finally, Classic M1A, MDR Battle Rifle, 1886, Merciless Diamondback. MK17, SIG 716, CQB, Resolute MK47, SIG 716, M16A2, Ravenous, UIC 15, Model 2. Like I said though, this is largely immaterial for the purpose of this video, so if we add a build behind them, obviously Dr. Home was not on that list, but if we add a build behind them, what we actually get is this. Dr. Home coming in first. Again, take this with a pinch of salt. The reason Dr. Home beats out an M1A CQB, despite the fact they are the same weapon, is an M1A CQB has 320 RPM, where Dr. Home has 350. So anyway, Dr. Home, M1A CQB, SOCOM M1A, stage left, Diamondback, Ravenous using left primers, Ravenous using right primers, USC.45, ACRSSS, Lavoa C, Surge, Merciless, utilising the explosions, Lightweight M4, M1A Classic, Baker's Dozen, MDR, 1886, Virginian Scar, Everlasting Gaze, SIG, CQB, Artist Tool, Resolute, Harmony, SIG, Merciless without the explosions, M16A2, Ravenous, not utilising any of the Primer tricks, and then the UIC. 15. Now I'm just going to leave this up for a little bit longer because obviously we've explained Dr. Home. Okay, Diamondback, I am assuming we are utilizing its mechanic fully so its DPS is calculating everything as a crit. For the Ravenous using left primers, we are assuming you actually know what you're doing with this, so you're only hitting armor plated targets. And I've only accounted for one stack. So that's a 100% multiplier. This can obviously go up to three, I believe, is like the max before the timer runs out. Ravenous for the right primers, I'm assuming you're doing right five, one left and then from that point you're doing right six one left in order to maximize your primers and then obviously merciless is on there twice the top merciless is accounting for the explosion going off every seventh shot essentially and then the merciless right at the bottom is not accounting for that at all as well as the ravenous right at the bottom is not accounting for any of the primers now just to show how messed up this can get i have not on the one i've just showed i have not even added in the talents for the named ones so stage left is obviously looking quite low it's because i haven't added in perfect sledgehammer however the moment we add these in things move around a hell of a lot so now we have stage left coming in up top an m1a cqb socom m1a dr home still holding on pretty close ucs.45 acrss lavoa c lightweight m4 m1a classic still up there i suppose diamondback mdr Ravenous using left primers, Ravenous using right primers, 1886, Virginian, Artist Tool, Scar, Sig CQB, Surge, Merciless using the explosions, Resolute, Sig, Harmony, Baker's Dozen, M16A2, Everlasting Gaze, Merciless, 
UIC 15 and then Ravenous trailing at the bottom. Now when I first started getting into the math of this game, I started looking at a lot of the rifles because I heard they were the best. And the first thing I discovered was Lightweight M4 and the UCS.45 are capable of doing some serious DPS. That is the UCS.45 that I've just crafted and I'm now equipping. And this is the importance of learning how to do accuracy calculations. Admittedly, they are going to be completely dependent on each individual person. However, despite the fact that the UCS.45 is like fifth highest in overall capable DPS, the problem here then is try actually hitting something with it. The DPS comes from the rate of fire. So in order to actually do this, you need to basically spam it as fast as you possibly can. Because that's where its DPS is coming from. And yeah, um, good luck hitting anything. At the point of where you're actually able to consistently hit things with that weapon, you have to be very close range. At which point, you may as well just use an SMG. So... Therein lies the issue with the majority of these rifles and after testing them on repeat your only real safe bets when it comes to rifles are the M1A series, that's the Stage Left, CQB, SOCOM, Doctor Home, the classic. Then essentially the 1886 series, it's the 1886 Virginian Diamondback. Potentially, depending on the right circumstances, Ravenous is up there as well. And if you must, must go for a non-meta rifle, your only decent bet is the lightweight M4. And I'll show it to you. This is the final list. This is it. kind of sad really when you actually look at the massive gaps that just pop up in overall DPS. So stage left the highest DPS rifle with sledgehammer propped. Other than that the M1A CQB is not too far off as a second it's like 2.5% below. SOCOM M1A Dr. Home really has surprised me assuming its stats will stay the same I've put the accuracy level of Dr. Home the same as the M1A CQB. However, if you look at its attachments, there's like two accuracy, one stability, and one handling. So it potentially could be more accurate than what I was with the M1A CQB. Then it's the M1A Classic, Diamondback, 1886, Virginian, Lightweight M4, Ravenous using left primers, Ravenous using right primers, MDR, Baker's Dozen, 6 EQB, Surge, M16A2, which has jumped all the way up from the bottom pretty much. Lavoa C, Sig, Scar, ACR, SS, Artist Tool, Resolute, Harmony, Everlasting Gaze, Ravenous, UIC 1.5, UCS.45, which was 5th, it's now 3rd from the bottom. And then Merciless using the explosions, and then Merciless without the explosions. Now, obviously, you can do weapon handling builds to put some of these builds up, but then you're going to be compromising either crit chance, crit damage, varying other mechanics that you would utilize in your build anyway. And it becomes a pointless sacrifice because it won't even reach, well, a lot of them won't even reach the DPS of what an M1A Classic or a M1A CQB would even be capable of and you would probably get more damage out of them because you can do your standard crit build or headshot and if you're going to go for headshot for me personally your only real bet is the uh, m1a classic but then that's just because i'm inaccurate as hell i know a lot of people do like using the m1a cqb with riflemen and then just whacking a load of headshot on them pretty standard way to go now what does any of this really actually mean? Well, 
If we compare the left table, which is with no accuracy involved in the calculations, and the right table, which has accuracy involved in the calculations, rifles are horrifically, horrifically unbalanced. Minus things like M1A, Doctor Home, 1886, and Ravenous, everything else basically just drops. It's kind of unfair. It really does polarise a lot of the arguments. For example, with ARs, the overall difference between most of them, well, all of them really, is like 15%. The argument that you can essentially use whatever AI you want because that's what you feel comfortable with is perfectly fine. Especially when it comes to the top echelon of ARs, FAMAS, F2000, TKB, Police M4, Honey Badger. The overall difference between them is so laughably small that there's no point getting grumpy over what one is technically better because the overall difference between them you're not going to be able to really discern visibly it's all going to be down to ttk and the overall difference between them in terms of ttk is like half a second so unless you're like superman that can process information at that sort of speed i really wouldn't give a crap however that being said with rifles honestly if you drop down below ravenous i would honestly argue on a DPS build, Harmony on a skill build, I would argue perfectly fine. Everlasting Gaze on a status build, I would argue perfectly fine. But if you're going for a DPS build, and if you drop below Ravenous, yeah. Even then, I would actually say dropping below the M1A series. It goes 197. 86, 82, 73, 72, and from there it gets more pitiful. I mean, obviously, with things like Ravenous, if you do the double stacking, it actually ends up being the most powerful rifle in the game. It hits like something like 19.8 million, near enough 20 mil, um, which is just dumb. But the main point really is just things like. The UIC.45 versus the classic M1A throughout. It was five slots higher. And then the moment you add accuracy in. Admittedly, yes, this is my accuracy. You may very well be more accurate than me. Wouldn't surprise me in the slightest. But if you're going to tell me that you're accurate enough to make the USC.45. The DPS catch up to the classic M1A. Yeah, no, that is not happening in the slightest. You may very well be more accurate than me, but you are not going to be that damn accurate. And I'm afraid to say this is pretty much the same story with the majority of the rifles. And I personally find it quite sad. It polarizes the usability of them. Although on the plus side, throughout all of this i am very much looking forward to dr home not only is it really high dps assuming that any of the calculations i've done here are correct it heals you for 15 percent of your armor per kill i believe it drops trophies akin to what memento does and you pick up the trophies and you get a 15 percent armor on kill so for those people that are going oh but glass cannon gets you kill quicker just use dr home very high DPS and it heals you so yeah I actually kind of foresee I say a potential new meta coming in where you can just go balls to the wall full out DPS and as long as you're within pickup range which isn't too hard with varying different builds Dr. Home is going to be coming in absolutely clutch so yeah, but only time will tell. In the meantime though guys, have fun, good luck, don't die. It's bad for the health.